Alright. Off to the next part. There's a melter rifle. Should I use it? Nah. I don't want it. I think we're good with what we have here. Honestly. I just don't want to go to a machine gun. So nice. I'll do it. I don't want to risk it for the biscuit, man. What? What is that? Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, well, that works. Uh oh, it says, "Let's go run." She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Scarier than the lictor, man. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, great. There's there's these guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is it. This is, it's Jover. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm gonna die here. I'm dead. Run away! Oh no, I'm in the corner. Uh, I'm in the corner. This is terrifying. I'm just gonna keep rolling. Just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. Oh no, I'm dead. Did you use in the books? Is it? Nope. It's still good. It's still good. Oh. Alright, thankfully, we do have that. That helps a lot. Oh, yeah. Nope. Nope. Wait. Did I get damage? I think I did. Destroying everything. But I, can you blame me? I don't want to get stabbed again. These guys could deal with the uh, with the small mids. That'd be comforting. Uh oh, uh oh. Getting angry. He's angry. He's angry like Angron. No, I don't need to reload. Let me execute. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is sick. Oh my gosh. Yo. Special this tactic. Sicko mode. That statue would offer more sport. My guy, nearly dead. I once faced a Carnifex alone, but nothing but a bolt pistol. That was sport. Well, I am glad to share in the glory of this kill. <laughs> that is casually reliving PTSD right there. Yeah, man. I uh, I nearly died. This facility is in shambles. Let us hope the data center is intact. Can we access Luz's tracking data from another system? Apparently not. It's this or nothing. What manner of research could justify oh. such a waste of human life? It does not surprise me. The Adeptus Mechanicus so willingly make monsters of themselves. Yeah, I'm gonna be real, guys. Is this another work of heresy that we're witnessing? Is that is that what's gonna happen in this game? 
Which, I mean, don't get me wrong. No matter what's gonna happen, like, it's going to be heresy. Like, we, like a thousand sons have already revealed themselves. But, you know, I hope the MacGuffin is a lot more... How do I say it? It's, I, I hope the MacGuffin is different compared to the first game. Because the first game was a power source, right? It was a weapon, but it was a, also a massive power supply that summoned chaos. We might be witnessing something very similar from what I could see, from what, like, Dual early on. Adjust pathing. I just hope Xenos. that's not the case. They have a I must think they will soon regret. Because that would suck. And I do have high hopes for this game. Yay, that is like This is great. The core of the reactor. There is so much beauty in its instability. These machines will make the world from enjoying their beauty. Captain, permission to speak. <sighs> what? Plagued your mind, Corporal? Captain, intelligence reports that the Tyranids are on their way. Roll up units in key corridors. Let's get them closer. But do it! Uh-huh. No sign of the arch enemy. Maybe they've been and gone. Maybe they're not involved after all. Stick to what you know, brother. I'm merely observing the data, as I am taught to do by the Codex Astartes. Oh. Shut up, Gadriel. You're more annoying than Leandros. And that is saying something. That is impressive, because Leandros snitched on me. The Volkite reactor is still running. Let's hope the machine spirit has it under control. A meltdown will be catastrophic. We'll disable it once we have the data. Okay. Cut soon. Lieutenant Titus, Ultramarine, Second Company. Enter your command. Locate Marius Luz. Access denied. Access rights granted. Establishing locus. Our axe. The city. Temple of Thassian. Vitals are elevated. Our box for a Thunderhawk. Wait. Open file project Aurora. Register intention oh. requisition. Open the file. <gasps> Whoa! Open file reconstruction. Brother, those are classified. Yo! It was destroyed. It's the MacGuffin again. Mechanicus falls. Display current location of artifact. Whoa. The MacGuffin has returned. This whole place will collapse onto the city beneath us. Get them off the core. That's nuts. It's all relating. They are throwing themselves into the reactor. We must shut it down before they destabilize it further. Machine spirit, power down the reactor. No compliance. Remote circuits are fused. Manual override required. Yo. I gotta like, I gotta like process what just happened because that is an insane reveal. Um, so for those of you guys who have never um, played Space Marine One or you know haven't watched um, my Space Marine One campaign series, by the way, you should go watch it. 
It, it reveals a lot of stuff, and, and I will reference a lot of Space Marine 1. Um, but the, the MacGuffin, the Project Aurora, refers to the power s s system the that was, that was um, used in Space Marine 1 as a sort of um, power supply, but also used as a weapon. Um, but unfortunately, uh, the Inquisitor uh, in charge of that experiment, Drogon, unfortunately Drogon was killed by a demon. Right? It was, he was killed by Chaos. Keep them off that reactor. And the reason why is because he was tainted. That research that he was doing um, was unfortunately uh, influenced by the warp, influenced by Chaos. So what ended up happening was he used the Space Marines to pretty much deploy these things. These... Or, sorry. He used the Space Marines to collect the, the MacGuffin, the, the power supply, the power core. And in doing so, what ended up happening is it created this access, this portal to the, uh, to the warp. And it allowed this great, you know, traitor, uh, traitor space marine, uh, who became an archdemon. Uh, his name was Nemoroth. We called him Lord Nemoroth. It summoned Nemoroth in his crew because he was the one influencing, um, you know, the the Inquisitor the whole time. I'm gonna see if I can like be more specific with it, like uh, try to be like I want to make it easier for you guys to understand what happened. So, yeah, Move to the next we'll see. <laughs> but that is an insane reveal. I can't believe that ha that is happening. Pylons remain engaged. One Volkai pylon maintains the reactor. Disengage it. Unable to comply. Temperatures have fused remote circuits. Manual intervention required. Okay. Drone damage. They are making another push. Intercept. But yes, TLDR, uh, an Inquisitor was doing heretical research and was being influenced by the war. Uh, he was subsequently murdered or killed by demon forces, by chaos forces. Oh, nice catch. Uh, this coincided, or th this was perfect timing because there was also an orc invasion. Death, in the Forge World Briya. So it was a perfect, you know, distraction. But what ended up happening was that Resupply. Lieutenant Titus, or Captain Titus as he was called back then, was uh, intercepted a distress call. And that distress call was from a captured, or I guess possessed, uh, Drogon, the, aka the Inquisitor, and he pretty much led them to securing the power supply, and then deploying it as well. And that, uh, unfortunately, led to chaos entering the normal world. They left, they left the warp. And there was a whole uh, Chaos Space Marine that eventually became a uh, Archdemon, I think they call him. His name is Nemoroth. And, um, yeah, it took Titus all that he could. He, he lost his best friend, Sedonis, but he did stop it from exploding. Was accused of heresy by Leandro, which was the other space marine with them. Where's the pylon? Activate those controls now. There we go. We did it. Reaction has entered entropic decay. 
That was the last of them. Oh gosh. Backup generators have been awakened. No essential systems returning to hibernation. No sign of tyrannids. A smell of burnt icor is enough. We have what we came for. Move to the extraction zone. And unfortunately, the Inquisitor that, that, you know, questioned Titus, unfortunately, he hated Astartes, which is ironic enough because, uh, <laughs> spoiler alert, which, uh, not, technically not spoiler because it would come before Space Marine 2, um, that Inquisitor, his name is Thrax, ended up being, like, possessed or something by a demon, and then he got executed by Grey Knights, and Titus was in stasis this whole time because he was a sort of pet. And, um, they saved them. And that's when we started working for the Death Watch. Or serving the Death Watch, I guess. I definitely want to, like, Lieutenant, get the cutscene What did first. you see in those Mechanicus files? A record of extreme foolishness. Explain. You may direct that request to our captain. We'll do this and then we'll end the episode. That's for sure. Give me a tactical overlay of the city. Captain! A minute. The Adeptus Mechanicus must be stopped. What? If they trigger the weapon, the results could be catastrophic. And what makes you suddenly an expert on Mechanicus research? They're using an artifact to power the weapon. I've seen it before, on a planet named Gryia. A traitor by the name of Nemroth called it a fragment of the Dark God's power that almost destroyed the planet. Gryia. Titus, the Mechanicus are acting on orders approved by the Primarch. And here are you, talking of Gryia, of all places. Damn it, Captain, if chaos is here, if they get their hands on this thing... Enough! I will hear no more on the subject. Now, did you get a location for Luz? Aye, right, sir. Then get down there and find him! There are those who would see you sent back to the Inquisition. Tread carefully, brother. This is insane, bro. Direct orders from the Primarch? Booty Gilly Man? Booty Girly Man? He he said that? Ain't no way, man. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. They blackened this damn them. After everything that happened. Brother, do not keep us in the dark. Yeah, can we? Yeah, we should spoil your concern. Bruh. You criticize the captain for withholding intelligence. And yet you treat us to the same evasive obscurity. Stray words have cost me dearly. So you do not trust us? Brothers, calm yourselves. Lest you face the chaplain's censure. I mean, I prefer to talk to the chaplain, man. I need some advice on this. Give me that creepy man. <laughs> Give me the skull face. Dialogue me. No? No dialogue? Look. Okay. Uh oh. You can't just say look and then like do nothing. Those are I hope they survived. Can we see them open it? That is well below tolerances. Check your thresholds. You're way over tuned. Uh, hold on a sec. Let's get a dialogue from these guys first. Time to go. I will not concede another loss to our brother. You seem troubled. I tire of reckless fools. I hope you do not mean us. Not unless you worship the Omnisire. Ah, then I share your distaste. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Alright, so that's, uh, that ends off this episode. Um, I'm, I might salute in half, I might not. We'll see. But, damn, guys, the lo uh, this is insane. 
Oh, great. They're doing this. But uh, I can't believe it. Pretty much, the story of Space Marine 1 is directly hitting us. Alright. I'll see you guys on the next episode. As always, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked the video, click that like button. The best way to support this channel is clicking that subscribe button. And anyways, it's been Johan. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is getting insane. See y'all next time. Peace!